Welcome, it's Deline here with another video on the iPad. In my first video, I unboxed my iPad and its accessories. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I'll put a link in the description bar below. But today I'm going to be showing you how I customize my iPad to make it my own. Let's go. This is what my current home screen looks like. As you can see, we're all over the place here. I'm not sure why I have a full separate page just for these three apps. We're going to sort that out now. So I want to make a mood board. I chose to do a mood board instead of a vision board, which a lot of people are doing because I feel like if I see a vision board, it will make me want to go to work straight away, you know? And I want to give myself that chance to just be in a neutral state of mind until I unlock the iPad. and then. I can decide whether I want to work or play at that moment in time. I went on Pinterest on my laptop to find images that display some of these words and I've saved the images already. Now we're going to open Photoshop. Then once that's open we create a new canvas. That's in portrait mode because personal preference. Once you have your blank canvas open you want to press command O if you're a Mac user or control O for the PC users to open the images you saved. Then you can open multiple images then from there you want to press on V on your keyboard to use the move tool. Then click on the image and drag it to your blank canvas. I prefer to have all the things on there first so I can just click on them and see where I want them to go. Just play around with the images to see where you would want to place them. And save it as a JPEG file when you're done and transfer the image to your iPad so you can set it as your wallpaper. I'm going to set this as a lock screen wallpaper. As for my home screen wallpaper, I'm going to go back onto Pinterest, but on my iPad this time. So what I'm going to do now is go on to Pinterest on the iPad, and then we want to make sure we tap on the actual image. So we go into the website they're from, then tap and hold to get the add to photos option. We then go back to the photos app, and then I'm going to set it as my home screen wallpaper. For those wanting to change their icons, all you have to do is find an icon pack that fit your aesthetic. I downloaded these ones from the Color Widgets app. You can also Google icons in photos and save or add to photos. Next, you're going to go to the shortcuts app, tap on the plus button to create a shortcut. Then here on the right, search for open app, hit choose, then search for the app you want to change the icon of. Let's say we want to do Pinterest. So we search and tap on it, search and tap on it. Then to change the icon and rename the shortcut, tap on the blue button with three dots at the top, hit add to home screen, then on the image under where it says home screen and icon, choose photo. So I'm going to select the Pinterest icon here. Then you want to hit use, then put the title of the app on the bar where it says new shortcut to, so you know which app this is for. Pinterest. So you can even use your fonts art keyboard to change the font of the title of your apps. Like so. Then tap add and it should say add it to home screen, then just click done. And when you open your home screen, you should see the shortcut you just made. I interrupt this program because I would like to say thank you so, so much to everyone who has watched, liked, shared, subscribed, and commented on my first video. Honestly, you guys, thank you so, so much for all your support. It means the world to me and I really cannot thank you enough. Okay. I know there are so many app icons out there to fit everyone's aesthetic, but I'm going to just stick with the normal ones for now. Okay. Because as much as I do want my home pages to look pretty and cohesive, I also would like to be able to locate my apps quickly, you know? And also I want to make my own icons, but that would take ages, so I'll hold off on that for now. But what I did do here is I've grouped my apps into categories. So I've got my work apps, streaming apps, and then my meditation and language learning app. And within their categories, I've put them from light to dark. You can change the fonts of a folder by downloading a fonts app from the app store. I chose fonts art and to activate the new keyboard, so you just go into the settings app and then tap general, then keyboard, go into keyboards, hit new keyboard, and that's a lot of keyboards. You should see under third party keywords, 
keyboards the name of the app you just downloaded so if we go into a folder on jiggle mode to rename the title you can hit the glow button at the bottom left to go onto the fonts art keyboard sometimes you might need to hit abc then tap on the globe icon again to get onto it you can see at the top the different fonts you can choose from you can experiment on which one you'd like to use on the right if you keep swiping left you will see font on keys. You can toggle it on and off to see what the letters look like or just have the normal letters so you can see. Then on the left there's a plus sign where you can add symbols like a plane, scissors and this funny looking thing which looks like cherries. In the settings app I'm going to go into control center, keep access within apps on, as well as show home control so I can easily access my HomePod mini, which is above me if you can't see. And if not, that's fine too. As you can see, I've already added some other controls here. So now I just want to rearrange these according to what I know I'll be using more when I swipe down from the top right edge of my screen. And I know for sure that would be the screen recording option. So I'm going to put that on the fourth line down. So it's on the very right side and it's just easier, isn't it? Here are my widgets. I made them using the Widgetsmith app. You can choose to have small, medium or large widgets. To customize them, tap on the image then tap to go back, hit the image again, then you can choose which widget you want to add. Then if you tap on the bottom where it says aesthetic or theme, you can choose different styles or make your own by tapping on the customize theme button. And if you hit the bottom bar where it says text, you can change the clock. I chose focus and forward as a simple reminder to myself to focus on what's in front of me and just keep going forward. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any Apple Tech videos. Plus, I've got a self-care, more chill video coming up next, and I hope to chill with you then. And thank you for watching. Bye! Video, huh? Ow. Okay. Okay, just... But on... There's some kind of war downstairs. Is it over? No, it's not. No. Nope. We're gonna sit through the war. I cannot English again.